Hi everybody, it's me, Lamika. So, I just wanted to first show you guys what my girlfriend, Natasha, got me. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use it for, you know, just like any other crafter. You know, we'll, we'll get things and then we don't know. We might change our mind. Some people are using these for their planner stuff, putting all their planner things in. Uh, I can't see myself walking around with this, you know. But at the house, sure. For right now, I'm going to keep it right here. But I think I may put my... Um, bead stuff inside of it you know or I may use this for when I go on crops and put my tools in this right here and then it's just sitting right in front of me so it has this on the side these right here so four of those then on the inside it has that oh well, it has it on both sides, so it's on both sides of it, see? And then on over here, it has one big pocket, and it has this right here. I don't know what that's for, though. I might have to look and see what um, what, what that's for. I don't... I'm not understanding that. And they show put it on crooked. Dang. Like, what do you use this for? I guess I have to ask my husband, because it really should be a man's thing, right? Now, I don't know about this right here they have on the side here. Like, I don't know what that's for. What, you know, is that just decoration? Maybe it's for decoration. But you know these come in different colors. Like, they have a, um... <laughs> what about girlfriend just wrote me talking about? Uh, let me, you did not need that craftsman. <laughs> But anyway, they have this in red, and I know there's another company that make this, and it's a little bit bigger. So I'm thinking craft shows, I mean crops, when I go to the crops, and to have this with me and stuff, you know. Now, it's not comfortable, so you're not carrying this like a purse. You got to carry it like this, to be honest with you, you know. But I'm so excited about it. I love it, and thank you so much, Natasha for totally getting that for me. So, what do y'all want to be? The, you know, we, we need some tea. We need some tea. I got some tea over here. I just don't know, you know, when to depart with some of the tea that I have. Mm. <clears throat> so, like I said, I do have some tea, but some tea I can't talk about right now. And I'll talk about it later. But um, this one tea that I want to talk about is the Side Chick Tea. Now, I don't know if we've all talked about this or not. We may have, we may have not. But I want to know, how do you feel about Side Chicks? Have you ever been one? Mmm. I'm still enjoying my um, birthday um, stopper cards that people got me. So thank you again for those. <sighs> the reason why I asked about Side Chick is because there are two stories circulating. One I saw this morning and one the other day. The, the first one is about Eric Garner, the guy that um, died by the hands of cops in New York. Um, and, you know, the whole hashtag was, I can't breathe. And the media had it where they said he was married and he had children. Um, that was the way they was doing it in the media. That's what I assumed. I assumed he was married. I, I had no idea if it was any different than that, to be honest with you. Um... And then, come to find out, he was actually probably, I guess you could say, estranged from his wife. Because they didn't say separated. But he had a girlfriend he had been living with for three years. And they had a one-year-old daughter. Come to find out, you know, they did a DNA test. The daughter is his. And the person that wrote this thing, and it was on Facebook going viral, was the fact that she said, you know, side chicks need to leave married men alone because this is what happened. Now you're not getting nothing, blah, blah, blah. 
Well, she didn't know really all her facts because the child is going to get something, whether, you know, you want to not believe that or not. Um, the child will be getting something. You can't stop that, you know. Um, but what I did not like is that his wife said and admitted that they knew about it, knew about the child and that, um, they don't want to have anything to do with the child. Now, I kind of think that's taken a little bit too far. What do you guys think about that? You know, um, a man loses his life. He has three older children and he has a one-year-old. His one-year-old doesn't know him the way and probably won't even really remember the memories, to be honest with you, uh, like his older children do. And so I feel that the the mother, the wife, the wife needs to stay out of that. The wife needs to get past her bitterness. I hate to say that, but she really do. And some people may not agree with me, and I understand it, but I'm looking at this for the children's sake, not for the wife's sake. If he wasn't living with you for three years, and y'all hadn't been together, then you need to let your children know who their sister sister is so that these kids can share the memories of their father with their sister because they have more memories with him than she ever will. If you look at it like that, it's not so bad. But right now, she's probably still mad. Hopefully, someone would be able to talk some sense into her and allow these kids to have a relationship. Um, A lesson that men need to get their priorities straight, okay? If you're going to have a side chick, whatever the case may be, get your crap together, okay? Then you have a case today that I read uh, out of Georgia. Two people have posted on Facebook about a lady who was kidnapped by the the husband's girlfriend, again, side check, and was killed, okay, by the woman. And then the woman committed suicide and killed herself. If that ain't about the stupidest stuff I've ever seen, you know I want to say another word there. Someone loses their life because you don't have the balls. The balls to file for divorce. I mean, really? Seriously? Now, I don't know if the lady knew what was going on. I want to say she probably did. Because I'm going to tell you this. I don't care who you are. A woman is born with that instinct to know when something's wrong. She knows when something is wrong, okay? For me, it started when my boyfriend, Tyrus, passed away. It was like at the time he passed away, there was just this overwhelming feeling of sadness, sorrow. It was just something inside me and I could not shake it for nothing in the world. It didn't matter if somebody was playing something funny. Matter of fact, somebody was around me doing some funny stuff and this person was funny. Bless his heart, he's dead too now. But the point is, women have that intuition that we know when something is going on. So I'm pretty sure she knew something. But unfortunately, nobody did anything to file, file for divorce, to leave and say, you know what, I'm moving on. I want to know from you, if it was happening to you, and since I get mostly women watching my channel, I'm going to address women in this subject. If you knew that your husband was cheating on you, would you A, try to save the marriage and hope that he doesn't do it again? Or B, would you divorce him and say, hey, you know, it's time to get divorced? Or would you C, try to save the marriage, but if he does it again, you're out of there? I mean, is it worth it to stay in a relationship knowing somebody crazy is on the other end and may want to take your life because they want your spot? You know what I'm saying? You have the number one spot, and they want it. Is it worth it to me? Hell no. Boo, you can have it, okay? I don't need it. I don't need it, okay? 
do you guys remember the football player that's from Tennessee Titans where he got killed by his girlfriend and then she killed him? Again, another murder-suicide. What happens? She's so in love with him, she ain't even thinking about his kids because he left kids behind. And, of course, his wife. His wife was left behind. And I'm pretty sure she was embarrassed. I mean, she, she was embarrassed probably because when the story come out, you know, now people really know your business. If they didn't know it before, now they know, dang, you know, your, your husband was cheating on you all this time. We didn't know that, you know, you guys weren't together like that. But I bet that check looked good when she got that check <laughs> from that insurance. And she was probably like, yeah, well, whatever at this point. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, when you get to a certain point, people don't want to be together. You kind of know, you know, and you you have to go through it to know it, though. So, I mean, those are the questions today. That's the tea. Let's talk about side chicks. Have you ever been a side chick? Did you know you were a side chick? Sometimes people don't know that they side chicks and they are, you know. And then sometimes people are side chicks and they know they're a side chick, but they don't want to acknowledge it. So, anyway, tell me. Let's talk this tea today. And uh, tell me what you guys are thinking and feeling and all that good stuff. I want to hear about it. We got all weekend long to talk about it. So, I'm going to New Jersey this weekend, and I'm actually ready to go up there. We haven't been to uh, Mark's father's house in a long time. I'm going to take my selfie stick with me, too, when I go up there. I'm going to really try to do what my girlfriend, Christine, does, and really try to record and everything and try to make a actual video out of it um, this weekend. I hope it works. We'll see, though. But anyway... I'll talk to you guys later. Let's talk that tea below. You know, chat with me. I'm sorry that my videos aren't as steady as they should be. But I promise I'm going to try to get back to them. I know. I know. I know. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.